Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to be taking an in-depth look at the 2023 Jeep Wagoneer L. As with all of my reviews, I'm gonna cover all of the ins and outs and take this thing on a thorough drive. There's a whole lot of stuff to cover, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. Inspired by the original SUV, the all-new Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer are a modern interpretation of American success that creates a new, timeless, and iconic design. Distinct exterior features differentiate the two models. Grand Wagoneers, for example, feature a two-tone black accent roof, a different hood, front end, and grille, unique lighting, fender flares, and power retractable side steps as standard equipment. The Grand Wagoneer, which starts at $88,640, is nearly $30,000 more than an entry-level Wagoneer. It more directly competes against the Lincoln Navigator L and the Cadillac Escalade ESV, compared to the Wagoneer, which aligns more with the Chevrolet Suburban, GMC Yukon XL, and the Ford Expedition Max. The differences are significant enough that I believe the Grand Wagoneer is best covered in a separate review, so if given the opportunity, I'll include a link in the description below. The 2023 Wagoneer lineup consists of four trim levels, including the entry model or Series 1, the Series 2, Carbide, and the Series 3. Base pricing ranges between $58,995 and $71,865 for the standard wheelbase. All Wagoneers come with two-wheel drive, with four-wheel drive being optional. There's actually a few different four-wheel drive systems available which I'll cover in just a bit. Base pricing for the long wheelbase, or L models, range between $62,495 and $74,865. The example we're checking out today is a four-wheel drive Wagoneer L Carbide, which delivers a sleek, blacked-out design to the Wagoneer. Exterior changes include gloss black wheels, a panoramic tri-pane sunroof, black onyx grille rings with gloss black grille texture, diamond black lower front and rear fascias and door flares, as well as gloss black roof racks, badges, daylight opening moldings and headlamps, mirrors, and silk cladding appliques. Inside, the carbide features new technical hydrographic dash trim, a black headliner, smoke accent stitching, and global black seats, instrument panel, and doors. The Wagoneer L carbide starts at $71,775. This example has a little over $8,000 in optional extras including River Rock exterior paint, a front passenger interactive display, the convenience group, and the rear seat entertainment group. The total MSRP for what you see here, including destination, is $81,805. As far as colors, the Wagoneer has six to choose from for 2023. White is standard, the rest are a $645 option. The Wagoneer's exterior can be best described as confident and crafted. After all, this is meant to be a premium extension of the Jeep brand. It features a traditional wide stance and large, architecturally drawn windows for enhanced outward visibility. A quick glance at the side profile reveals a stately, distinguished silhouette that's more on the traditional side. 
A clean roof line and A line that runs all the way around the vehicle pays homage to the original Wagoneer. This functional structure features pillars that begin to define the rest of the vehicle instead of being hidden underneath lacquer. An acoustic laminated windshield and front door glass are standard equipment to reduce ambient noise levels. The legendary 7-slot grille hints at family ties to the Jeep brand. The Wagoneer comes standard with fixed running boards. Power deployable running boards are optional on the Wagoneer Series 3. A full suite of exterior LED lighting is standard as well. Signature daytime running lamps form an elegant outline of the grille and help emphasize the width and overall front end of the vehicle. Dynamic turn signals, LED fog lamps, and wraparound LED tail lamps amplify the premium aesthetic. The Wagoneer L's overall length of 226.7 inches stretches a full 12 inches beyond the standard Wagoneer, with the additional length realized in the cargo area behind the third row seats. The 130 inch long wheelbase is 7 inches longer than the standard wheelbase. The extra length helps the new L models deliver greater flexibility when it comes to hauling passengers and cargo. Between the different Wagoneer models, there's a variety of alloy wheels, including 18 by 8 inch, 20 by 9 inch, and 22 by 9 inch wheels. The carbide comes standard with 20 inch gloss black painted wheels. These 22 inch wheels are a $1,495 option and feature a more intricate spoke design. They're wrapped in 285 45 Goodyear all season tires. FYI, on the four-wheel drive Series 2, there's an available all-terrain package that includes unique 18-inch off-road themed wheels and 275-65 all-terrain tires. All Wagoneers feature a pretty substantial braking system. Consisting of 14.9-inch internally ventilated discs in front and 14.8-inch solid discs in the rear. They're clamped down by twin piston and single piston calipers, respectively. The braking system is also electric power assisted instead of being vacuum assisted. It delivers a surprisingly crisp feel with excellent top of the pedal response and confidence inspired stopping power. Keeping in mind this is a big SUV, it's able to stop from 60 miles an hour in about 140 feet, which felt appropriate. The switch-activated electronic parking brake is located on the driver's side of the dashboard, beneath the headlight controls. A substantial emphasis was placed on designing an all-new body-on-frame structure for the Wagoneer that uses high-strength steel to bolster vehicle performance, safety, reliability, and reduce overall weight. The result is a body structure that's both strong and lightweight, balanced yet functional. The use of lightweight, high-strength aluminum closures, such as the doors and hood, plus a composite lift gate helps further reduce weight. The Wagoneer's frame features side rails that are tall and fully boxed. Frame cross members are double shear welded to the inside and outside of the frame for improved durability and roll stiffness. Based on the standard wheelbase architecture, the Wagoneer L has several notable changes, such as a new rear floor, a new rear ladder structure, new third row seat brackets and reinforcements, a new frame center rail and rear rail extension, a new rear tub, and new load floors. As far as the suspension, front independent double wishbones combine lightweight composite upper control arms, aluminum lower control arms, monotube shocks, and geometry tuned for responsiveness and handling. The front stabilizer bar sits behind the front tires to enhance roll stiffness. In the rear, there's an aluminum intensive independent multi-link coil sprung suspension with load leveling monotube shocks and a stabilizer bar that provides excellent on-road ride, bolsters handling, and provides better articulation over obstacles. An air suspension is also available. It features electronically controlled, semi-active damping to further improve ride quality according to road conditions and driving styles. 
the air suspension replaces the standard coil springs and features a closed loop system that recycles clean air to improve compressor durability. The air suspension continuously adjusts stiffness based on load conditions to optimize ride performance. There's five height settings. The normal setting offers eight inches of ground clearance, while off-road one and two offer one or two inches of additional ride height respectively for improved ground clearance and up to 24 inches of water fording capability. In its highest setting, the Wagoneer offers approach, breakover, and departure angles of 25, 20.4, and 21.3 degrees respectively. An aero mode lowers the ride height 0.6 inches relative to the normal height. It's controlled by vehicle speed and adjusts for optimal performance and fuel economy. The Wagoneer will also lower to aero mode when in sport mode or eco mode. Lastly, park mode lowers the vehicle 1.6 inches relative to the normal height for easier ingress and egress. The Wagoneer's electric power steering system is a rack and pinion design, and it's been calibrated to deliver a surprisingly natural feel. The electric motor works with an adaptive engine control unit to monitor steering speed, steering wheel angle, and vehicle speed. This allows for variable amounts of steering assistance to be applied, for example, when more is needed at lower speed maneuvering through a parking lot, or less when at highway speeds to enhance vehicle stability. The EPS system also uses a variable rate ratio to improve maneuverability while maintaining on-center stability in all driving conditions. The overall ratio is 16 to 1, and it takes nearly three turns to go from lock to lock. The turning diameter is 42.2 feet. The Wagoneer's unique two-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel features added comfort with a bolstered hand grip where a third steering wheel spoke would normally be located. The spokes house buttons for cruise control, hands-free telephone, driver's information, and on the back side, audio controls. The Wagoneer's standard 10.25-inch frameless digital instrument cluster features nearly two dozen different menus and five reconfigurable tiles for at-a-glance data or quick and easy access to the most used information. You can also choose between analog or digital instrumentation. All cluster settings can be saved to a user profile as part of the Wagoneer's full vehicle customization and automatically recalled for each driver. When the Wagoneer was first launched for 2022, it was powered by a 5.7 liter naturally aspirated V8 that developed 392 horsepower and 404 pound-feet of torque. The Grand Wagoneer was powered by a 6.4 liter V8 that developed 471 horsepower and 455 pound-feet of torque. This all changes for the 2023 model year with the introduction of the all-new 3-liter Hurricane twin-turbo inline six-cylinder engine family, which delivers more horsepower, more torque, and less emissions than many competitors' naturally aspirated V8 and boosted six-cylinder engines. The V8s are still standard on the entry models of the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. However, they're not available on L models. There's two versions of the Hurricane, standard output and high output. The latter is exclusive to the Grand Wagoneer. The general engine design consists of a deep skirt cast aluminum block with cross-bolted steel main bearing caps, low friction plasma spray bore coated cylinders, a structural die cast aluminum oil pan, an aluminum alloy cylinder head with pent roof combustion chambers, a forged and twisted steel crankshaft, forged steel connecting rods and cast aluminum alloy pistons with DLC coated piston pins. Fuel is delivered through a high-pressure direct injection system. The compression ratio on the standard output Hurricane is 10.4 to 1. Max engine speed is electronically limited to 5,800 RPM. 
The valve train consists of double overhead camshafts with dual independent variable valve timing, hydroformed tubular camshafts, four valves per cylinder with sodium filled exhaust valves, roller finger followers, and hydraulic lash adjusters. There's also an engine mounted water to air charge cooler that has its own dedicated cooling circuit for better efficiency. An electric pump circulates the coolant after the engine is shut off to help cool the turbocharger units down for enhanced durability. The standard output Hurricane develops 420 horsepower at 5,200 RPM and 468 pound-feet of torque at 3,500 RPM. The Grand Wagoneer's high output Hurricane boasts an impressive 510 horsepower at 5,700 RPM and 500 pound feet of torque at 3,500 RPM. Despite this example weighing around 6,300 pounds, it was able to accelerate to 60 miles an hour in about 5.4 seconds, which is super impressive. The throttle response is excellent thanks to the low inertia, high flow design of the turbochargers. The engine also benefits from a broad, flat torque curve that sees at least 90% of the peak torque from 2,350 RPM all the way to redline. Peak boost for the standard output is 22 PSI. I've yet to try out the high output Hurricane yet but hope to in the near future. When it comes to fuel economy, the standard output can run on regular 87 octane, but it's recommended to use mid-grade 89 octane for improved performance. EPA estimates range between 17 miles per gallon in the city and 24 miles per gallon on the highway for two-wheel drive models, and 16 miles per gallon in the city and 23 miles per gallon on the highway for four-wheel drive models. With four-wheel drive, I averaged around 19 miles per gallon in mixed driving. The total fuel tank capacity is 30.5 gallons. An auto start stop system is standard for additional fuel savings when it comes to momentary stops. Of course, it can be disabled if you prefer by a button in the center console. The standard transmission across the board is a Torque Flight 8HP 75 8-speed automatic. It features five clutches and four planetary gear sets with an overall 7.03 ratio spread, not to mention standard electronic range select capability. Three four-wheel drive systems are available. Quadra Track 1 delivers full-time four-wheel drive without any switches to push or levers to pull. The system provides smooth operation of the vehicle over a variety of road conditions. It's a lightweight, single-speed transfer case that's more efficient for enhanced fuel economy and improved traction by moving torque to the wheel with the most grip. A mechanical rear limited slip differential is standard. A Quadra Track 2 two-speed transfer case is optional. It uses input from a variety of sensors to determine tire slip at the earliest possible moment and take corrective action. The system also uses the throttle to anticipate quick movements to maximize traction before tire slippage occurs. When wheel slippage is detected, as much as 100% of the available torque is instantly routed to the wheel with the most traction. Quadra Drive 2 can also be upgraded with a rear electronic limited slip differential to proactively limit or eliminate slip. The Wagoneer's Select Terrain system offers five different driving conditions to achieve the best driving experience across a variety of terrains. Auto Mode automatically adapts to any on or off-road situation. Sport Mode provides enhanced on-road quote-unquote fun-to-drive capability. Rock Mode raises the available air suspension to its maximum height and coordinates the transfer case, differentials, and throttle to better provide low speed control. Snow Mode adjusts the traction control system for the best performance over snow covered roads. In Sand and Mud Mode, the traction control system and air suspension operate with sensitive response to wheel spin, while torque delivery is also tuned accordingly. 
In addition, select speed control with hill assist and hill descent control allow for the ability to control vehicle speed both up and down steep, rugged grades with the electronic range select controller on the steering wheel, eliminating the need for you to operate the throttle or brake pedal. When equipped with the heavy duty trailer tow package, you get a 3.92 rear axle ratio versus the standard 3.55 ratio, as well as black tow hooks, an electronic rear limited slip differential, heavy duty engine cooling, a removable rear tow hook, a trailer brake controller, and a trailer hitch zoom camera angle for better visibility when backing up to a trailer. Max trailering ability for the Wagoneer is 10,000 pounds. Many of the interior elements pay tribute to the Wagoneer's rich history, such as the two-spoke steering wheel. Modern, technical, and detail-oriented appointments were crafted to exemplify American quality and personify prestige, success, and accomplishment. A unified focus on integrated opulence and technology delivers an innovative experience for each passenger. This is even more so on the Grand Wagoneer. The relaxed atmosphere of the interior is accentuated by the use of five customizable ambient lighting themes, proximity entry exit lighting and interior mounted LED door puddle lamps. The design of the interior blends modern American style with elegant appointments and the latest technology. Build quality is excellent, space is plentiful, and in my opinion outward visibility is best in class. A broad one-piece instrument panel accentuates the width and grandeur of the interior. The Grand Wagoneer features a unique two-piece design along with a plethora of unique interior furnishings. All Wagoneer models offer leather trim seats as standard equipment. Depending on the model, there are different grades of leather, consistent of the standard Capri leather, upgraded Napa leather, and the top-line Palermo leather. The latter is exclusive to the Grand Wagoneer. Different Wagoneer models offer different interior color options, but as I mentioned before, the carbide's interior is only offered in black to match the overall theme of the vehicle. The front seats are 8-way power adjustable and offer power lumbar support and 4-way manually adjustable headrests. The driver's seat also gets memory presets. The steering wheel is power adjustable for tilt and reach. The accelerator and brake pedals are adjustable fore and aft to better accommodate drivers at different heights. Wagoneers are offered with up to 50 inches of total digital display area. There's a 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster and a 10.1 inch horizontal central touchscreen. 
Grand Wagoneers have larger displays plus an additional display for fully digital climate controls. The Wagoneers climate controls are more traditional, with a clean row of buttons beneath the infotainment system. You can also operate everything from within the infotainment system, including the rear climate controls, heated and ventilated seats, and the heated steering wheel. Functionality is enhanced for front row passengers with an available wireless charging pad and eight USB ports across the three rows of seats for device charging or media connectivity. With the optional rear seat entertainment system and front passenger display, there's a total of 11 USB ports. As far as audio systems, the Wagoneer comes standard with a nine speaker Alpine system with subwoofer. It's an excellent sounding system, but if you're wanting to take it over the top, there's a premium 19-speaker Macintosh system available on the Wagoneer Series 3. It's powered by a 17-channel 950-watt amplifier. The latest generation Uconnect infotainment system delivers operating speeds that are five times faster when compared to its predecessor. By using an Android operating system and over-the-air updates, Uconnect 5 brings flexibility that allows the system to continuously evolve to offer new content, features, and services. Some of the highlights include five user profiles plus a valet mode, a fully customizable home screen for quick access to frequently used features, simultaneous connectivity for two Bluetooth-enabled phones, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, expanded connected services, TomTom -tom navigation with predictive search, natural speak and live traffic updates, and 4G LTE Wi-Fi for up to eight wireless devices. This system offers a lot more that I don't have time to cover, but all in all, it's straightforward and easy to use. Plus, there's a lot of cool extras within the Off-Road Pages app, such as suspension information, interactive displays for the Select Terrain system, and displays for pitch and roll, accessory gauges, and vehicle dynamics. The interior mood lighting offers five colors, white, blue, aqua, gold, and amber, and is selectable through the infotainment system. There's also an available 10.25 inch passenger screen that can provide the front passenger with dynamic touchscreen controls at their fingertips. The screen has four major functions, co-pilot via navigation and device management, entertainment via HDMI or rear seat entertainment control, fire TV for auto, and the ability to view the exterior cameras. When equipped with the front passenger display, relax mode is available when the vehicle is in park and offers occupants an immersive experience by combining dramatic, multi-screen visuals with ambient lighting across the entire cockpit. There's five videos to choose from and each is inspired by natural wonders or phenomenon. Storage space is plentiful to say the least. In the center console you have four covered compartments. The forward compartment houses a plethora of USB Type-A and Type-C inputs, a 12 volt power outlet, and an HDMI input. The large covered compartment at the back of the console is felt lined and illuminated. There's also a covered tray and top with USB ports. The cup holders are covered too for a cleaner look when not in use. Other storage options include a large locking glove box and large lower door pockets. The Wagoneer offers more than 120 standard safety features across the lineup, including a suite of standard driver assistance technologies, such as automatic emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, active lane management, blind spot monitoring, rear cross path detection, hill start assist, trailer sway control, and rear park assist sensors. The Wagoneer is also available with several class leading safety features that enhance your field of vision, help make instrumentation easier to see, and enable driver assist capabilities that accommodate collision avoidance, such as active driving assist, night vision with pedestrian and animal detection, intersection collision assist, drowsy driver detection, 
traffic sign recognition, a surround view camera system, automatic high beam control, and parallel and perpendicular park assist. A 10 inch configurable full color windshield head up display is optional. When it comes to airbags, all Wagoneers include advanced multi-stage driver and front passenger airbags, side curtain airbags, supplemental front seat side airbags, and driver and front passenger side inflatable knee airbags. With a standard 40-20-40 split folding second row seat, the Wagoneer can seat up to 8 passengers. If you prefer, second row captain's chairs are also available with the $995 second row seating group. In addition to power tilting and sliding captain's chairs, the package also includes a floor console with cup holders and on some configurations, heated seats. In my opinion, the captain's chairs offer the most luxurious feeling as you get your own space with independent armrests and adjustable headrests. Of course, by opting for the captain's chairs, you can only seat up to seven passengers. Second row manual window shades are optional, part of the aforementioned convenience group. The long wheelbase Wagoneer offers best in class overall passenger volume of 179.3 cubic feet, best in class second row legroom of 42.7 inches, and an incredibly spacious third row with 36.6 inches of legroom on all models. It's also worth noting that, despite being such a large vehicle, it's really easy to see out of thanks to how large the rear windows are and the relatively narrow pillars. There's a lot of padding and lower back support in the seats which make it nice for long trips. With the bench seat, there's a fold-down armrest with integrated cup holders if no one is sitting in the middle. The rear seat climate controls and available heated seat controls are located in the rear of the front center console. With the available rear seat entertainment system, you get dual 10.1 inch touchscreens which feature independent streaming capabilities from major content providers and the first Fire TV for auto integration featuring Alexa and access to hundreds of thousands of movies, TV shows, and apps. Passengers can watch their favorite shows independently while listening through headphones or the whole family can tune in through the vehicle's audio system. Parents also have access to Amazon Kids Plus for a worry-free experience that ensures younger passengers enjoy age-appropriate content. A Fire TV for auto-specific remote works on all screens to provide control of the experience and includes push-to-talk access to Alexa, making it easy to find and quickly play shows. The remote includes a button that connects Fire TV for auto with the new Uconnect 5 system for control of vehicle functions such as climate, maps, and more. Additional second row amenities include four adjustable air vents, overhead microphones for the hands-free phone system, seat back storage pockets, USB type A and type C charge ports, both 110 volt AC and 12 volt DC power outlets, overhead LED lighting, grab handles and coat hooks, large lower door pockets, independent door lock controls, and one touch automatic power windows. The Wagoneer's third row seats are my favorite in this segment. Not only do they allow plenty of space for adults, but the seats are also quite comfortable. Getting into the third row is made easier by the second row seat's ability to power release with the tip and slide function, which creates more space for passengers to get to their seat. Configuring the third row for passengers or cargo is easy, as the seat can both recline and fold flat. The additional sunroof for third row passengers is a nice touch. It makes the cabin feel even more open. With the second row seating group, the third row seats also get the added benefit of power folding and reclining. Additional amenities include adjustable air vents in the side panels, cup holders, storage pockets, USB type A and type C charge ports, and headrests that can be folded for extra visibility when not in use. Coat hooks and overhead LED lighting can also be found in the third row. 
A hands-free power liftgate is standard equipment on all Wagoneers, which can prove to be particularly useful when your arms are full. Otherwise, there's several other ways to open the liftgate. One of the biggest advantages that the Wagoneer has over its competitors is that it offers class-leading cargo space behind the third row seat. This goes the same for the L models, which offer 44.2 cubic feet of cargo space behind the third row. That's 15.8 cubic feet more than the standard wheelbase and nearly 3 cubic feet more than a Chevrolet Suburban. That being said, the Suburban does offer more overall cargo capacity, with 93.8 cubic feet behind the second row seats and 144.7 cubic feet of space in total. It's not likely that many folks will utilize every cubic foot available, but it's still worth noting. The Wagoneer's liftgate glass also doesn't open independently like it does on the GM competitors. If you have a large family, the Wagoneer L can obviously handle significantly more luggage and gear, including oversized objects. For excursions that require even more cargo room, the Wagoneer L offers up to 88.8 .8 cubic feet of space behind the second row seats and up to 130.9 cubic feet of space behind the first row seats. With the available one-touch power folding third row seats, you can more easily expand cargo space via the buttons on the right side panel. Dimensionally, with the second and third rows folded flat, the cargo area can easily fit a 4 by 8 foot sheet of plywood with room to spare. All L models feature six tie-down loops in the cargo area, four of which can be repositioned as needed. Two more fixed tie-down loops are exposed once the third row seats are folded. Underneath the cargo floor is some additional storage, including a dedicated space to stow the removable roof rails. Well everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed the in-depth look at the Jeep Wagoneer L. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to because there's a whole lot more content where that came from. And make sure you have that little notification box selected so you can get properly notified of all of the new uploads. Don't forget to leave a like down below because it really helps the videos a lot. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.